This is Terrence Andre Banks with Information Age Financial Solutions coming to you about student loan forgiveness. Apparently that, and this is a problem that I used to, when I actually worked in the nonprofits I did with financial counselors and student loan counselor was one of them. I was wondering if everything would be okay because so many people were expecting to student loans to be forgiven. Well, this article shows differently that some new borrowers have to start over. And it just comes to show you that there's nothing free, even when they tell you, the government's telling you that something's free, there's really nothing for free. And they make things so difficult for you to qualify. And I've talked about this before in prior, I thought this would blow up uh, a lot earlier. I, I was actually predicting last year sometime, and lady, I'll take the first one to tell you, it's taking longer than I thought. But again, it's important to understand if you're looking for student loan forgiveness, you may want to take a key to this article because, again, I, I questioned that. And I, I was doing some research. I was talking to someone and they came across this problem where they weren't. They believed after 10 years of making payments that their student loans were given. They worked in the public sector to find out there was something that was a discrepancy. And now they they've been told they have to start all over. So. And when I was talking to this individual. I was just did some more research and found out this is becoming more of a wide widespread problem is just not really being covered but actually CNBC did an article January 12 2018 this is more on the limelight so I want to kind of leave the link in the description but I want to kind of read on for this and um, and go over it here's how to make sure your timeline doesn't get disrupted each year more than 30 percent of people who file a sufficient form are denied at the John Hopkins Bluebird School of Public Health in Baltimore Maryland Nick Rudzu spent his days researching how different environments affect the health of citizens of help of the children. To get there, he racked up more than $80,000 in student loan debt. So with Suitsi, 28 was relieved to find out he qualifies for public service loan forgiveness. That program signed into law by President George Bush in 2007. Allows certain members of the military, classroom teachers, and social workers, as well as for not-for-profit and government employers to have certain loans eliminated after 10 years of on-time payments. Key here is have certain loans eliminated. It's just one of several programs for loan forgiveness cancellation discharge for federal student loan. Just the thought that I might not get forgiveness is scary. I'll be making payments for 30 years. It will be delayed my life. Unfortunately, after a year of chipping away at his student debt, Ritzy learned that learned during a phone call with the financial aid office that all not all loans are eligible for forgiveness and some of his loans did not qualify. And this is a good story because the individual I was talking to and a number of individuals that I talked to, and especially when I was doing you know, in the nonprofits that just work in student loan counseling, they came to find out after seven, eight years of paying, some even found out after 10 years. He's finding out in this particular article a year. I'm just glad that I'm just pointing to your attention because this is another people thinking that they're going to be able to escape the student loan problem, and it really is not. Just like that, he was back at square one. It was disappointing, said Ritzy, who immediately moved his various loans into a direct consolidation loan, which does qualify for forgiveness. But the experience left him on edge. He just thought that I might not get forgiveness. It's scary. We just said I've been making payments for 30 years. It would delay my life. As it turns out, plenty of people in public service jobs, some two thirds of whom make less than 50,000 a year, believe they're paying their way to loan forgiveness. Yet actually, they don't qualify for one technical reason or another. I'll repeat that again. As it turns out, plenty of people in the public service jobs, some two thirds of whom make less than 50,000 a year, believe they're paying their way to loan forgiveness yet actually don't qualify for one technical reason or another. Each year, more than 30% of people who file a so-called employee certification form, which is supposed to confirm one's public service loan forgiveness status are denied, according to the Department of Education. And this form is not mandatory for public service loan forgiveness, and so the total number of people denied is probably greater. Keep that again. And so the total number of people denied is probably greater. These problems are so common that the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau issued a report in June on the failures of the student loan industry to properly inform people about forgiveness requirements and rights. Why would they do that? The, people have to understand the student loans are part of the general, the GDP numbers, and therefore getting people to forgive them and stuff like that when this is a part of the numbers that shows growth in this country, it's very far-fetched. But I digress. Bars identified a range of student loan in, industries practice and delayed to four defer or deny access to expected debt relief, according to the report. Jay Fleshman, a student loan lawyer, said he heard from people who were almost done with a decade of repayment when they first learned that none of these payments counted towards forgiveness. This is pretty common that I found out when I was doing um, 
student loan counseling. They call me up because they want me to help guide them through getting finalized, he said, and I'm, one, I'm the one who has to be the bearer of bad news. They're going to have to start from scratch. I have people cry on the phone. It is imperative that people who believe they might qualify for forgiveness act fast to make sure they're doing everything right. Some random Arquit, a financial expert, a student loan hero. I used to actually interview with these guys a lot, and so they, she dearly knows what she's talking about here. A website for managing debt. A lot of time you don't realize there's a problem until you actually apply for loan forgiveness, he said. Here's how to make your own. Make sure your own is staying on the right path. Number one, make sure you have the right loans. Like many former students, we had a few different kinds of loans. His federal family education loan and his Perkins loans did not qualify for loan forgiveness. That's because only direct loans, which include direct, subsidized, and unsubsidized lines, direct plus loans, and direct consolidation loans are eligible under the public, public student loan forgiveness program. Other loan forgiveness programs have their own rules. Check to see if you can bundle your non-qualified loans to a direct consolidation loan. Most federal loans are eligible. Private student loans are not. Not only, only once your loans are under this title will your student debt payments move you along the public student loan forgiveness 10-year timeline. It says move you along doesn't mean it's going to be guaranteed. If you have already had some direct loans you made forgiveness qualified payments on, you might not want to consolidate with you with non-qualifying loans into one debt. That restarts the clock on forgiveness. Not sure what kind of loans you have? Check your account, the Department of Education, Federal Student Aid to sign site to find out the types of loans you have. Um, I'm going to put a link to this inside the description. Number two, I'm not going to read all of this. It's just different ways that you can confirm that you're back on track. The point I'm getting here is that student loans, because again, student loans are such a huge burden on most of the population. It's and even though it's talked about, it's not talked about enough, just like the pensions. And with so many people hoping that this is going to be, student loans are going to be forgiven, somehow they're going to get out from these debts, you need to be aware of this. I can't say it enough. We're living in different times. You need to act differently and move accordingly. If this video has been any value to it, please subscribe, leave some comments. Until my next video, I'm out.